everybody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to dwell on it, but one more time. <laughs> we have been looking into many different avenues, roads, options, whatever you want to call it, to deal with the situation that we are currently dealing with. And one thing that was suggested to us is to have people, our subscribers, write letters on our behalf. We have no place to tell you where to send them directly. So we are asking everybody that would like to help support us and participate in this to write a letter to Google AdSense on our behalf and email it to us at the neighbors kvm at yahoo.com. And when we submit some new forms that we need to submit, we will submit your letters along with them. But we are asking if you could do those kind of like right away so we can get the ball rolling. So Again, thank you all for your love and support. We are still getting emails, our comments about it, and we just can't thank everybody enough for, for your love and support. And rest assured that we are going to continue with our channels, one way or another. Okay, with that being said, Let's get on to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Okay. Okay, we got some more new subscribers to welcome. Jenny Morgan, welcome to the neighborhood. Super Awesome. Super Am Awesome. Super Am Awesome. Welcome to the neighborhood, J. Bennett 380. I'm not sure if I welcomed you already or not. The name kind of sounds familiar, but you all know me if I'm not sure. Welcome to the neighborhood. So Shani? Or Shani? So Shani? Welcome to the neighborhood. And Brad want to vlog. Welcome to the neighborhood. And thank you all for your support because you all joined and showing support. My question from yesterday was, if you had to choose, would you give up junk food for a year or TV for a year? Which to me is kind of hard because they kind of go hand in hand. Okay, so... Angie Lupus Life would give up junk food so I could be super healthy by the end of the year. Yeah, I kind of agree with that one. Um, Tanya Longley. This is hard, but I could probably go without TV as long as I had my radio. But for my own health reasons, I would say I'd go without junk food for a year. That would be my reasonings, you know, for health. Um, look what you missed out on. I could go with junk food for a year because I am sure I could find some kind of healthy food to munch on while watching TV. But at the same time, I could go without TV for a year too because I have YouTube to watch and can also watch TV shows on the computer. Well... I'm kind of, it wasn't said, but it, um, no TV means also no computer. Yeah. So, you wouldn't have YouTube. You wouldn't have your computer to sign on to the networks to watch TV either. So, yeah. It's none of that. You can have radio, but no visual. Anybody. Yeah. Meow. Yeah, I'm pretty mean, aren't I? Meow. Okay. Um, Melody. 
Me Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80. Go without junk for food for a year, which will begin on June 18th. Can't wait. Because she's getting ready to go in for her gastric sleeve surgery. So she's going to be cutting out all junk food anyway. I'll be there very soon. Crimson Fairy. I can easily give up junk food for a year. A year without Star Trek is impossible. No <laughs> Judge Judy, Game of Thrones, no ID channel would be torture. Judge Judy. That's what she says. All right. Daily Rambles. I would go without TV for a year as long as the calories would not count for the, the year. <laughs> See, this is a trick question, she says. Okay, and then we had Bonnie Fazbeer, Greg Myers, and The Abyss 92882 that said they would give up junk food. And Lord Guerno said he would give up TV. What would you give up? I would give up junk food for sure. If I give up junk food, I might lose this 15 pounds of... I am giving up junk food very shortly. I am going to be going in for my gastric bypass surgery. And I am needing to start to wean myself off of all the junk food and crap. <laughs> Okay, my question for tonight is, what is something you have never done but would like to try? Explain your answer. Groovy man. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Beep, beep, beep. question was about the movie Wrong Turn. I take a lot of those, don't I, Crimson? Especially and onto One Way Street. 2003, uh, apparently uh, when they set up in this forest where they were filming this, they set up all the chairs and a great big patch of uh, poison ivy. So half of the crew and cast came down with poison ivy. Itchy, itchy. So, those who got that correct were Terry Johnson, Colt Today, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, and Bam BF. One second, please. Stop. Had to moisten my throat before I do. Woohoo! Okay, so tonight's question has to do with the 2006 movie Silent Hill, which is based on a video game. Now, what place was the inspiration? For the movie adaptation of the video game, what town? I don't know. But there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there, we would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow.